Greetings, I'm Dr. Noah Leatherland and welcome to another edition of Calf Chat. We thought a timely talk, a topic to talk about today would be just better understanding ventilation range, especially when we go through a major seasonal change here at March from a fairly cold winter into some warmer conditions and certainly some wind movement that impacts the airflow throughout our calf barns. Let's think about three key factors when we think about curtain management. Our goal is number one, to provide adequate amounts of clean air to the calves. That's our key principle. Clean air is almost like a nutrient when we think about some of the requirements uh, from a growth standpoint, where dirty air will suppress growth. Our second goal is to prevent a draft on the calves. Uh, if we disturb the boundary layer and the hair on the calf, we may chill that calf, reducing that calf's ability to perform like we'd like to. And finally, one of our goals is to really manage the temperature and humidity within the barn, uh, both keeping as consistent of environment as, as possible, but also reducing the ability of bacteria to kind of grow and flourish in our environments as well. Four key principles when we think about uh, ventilation in calf barns are number one, to really target somewhere around four to five air changes per hour. So four air changes per hour would be about every 15 minutes, the air would turn over and be fresh again. And so that's one of the goals to minimize the amount of ammonia, other gases or bacteria that may build up within the environment, within the air. One of the second key principles is to have the correct air speed. And that's kind of where the curtains come into play. We want the air speed at about four foot above the bedding surface to be around 60 foot or so per minute. If we push air speeds faster than that, calves may feel a draft, and that's something we definitely want to avoid, especially in this transition type of a, a season from a cooler to warmer weather. When the temperature's below 40 degrees for nursery calves, in general, we want the curtains up pretty tight uh, so that we're not dr potentially drafting or chilling those calves. Certainly, we want maybe some air gap around the eaves and the uh, center part of the barn to be somewhat open to allow uh, uh, warm air to exhaust through those areas, but in general we don't want the curtains down to draft the calves. And fourth, it all really depends on the calf, right? The calf age, the calf size, um, as those factors are going to impact how much air the calf can tolerate. Newborn calves, we want fairly still air, but as the calf gets older in the 300 pound range, we can, we can anticipate that calf requiring greater uh, wind speeds, they can tolerate uh, greater air exchanges just to keep the air around them fresher. Some timely things to think about uh, as we move into March and the rest of the spring is maybe maintenance of the positive pressure tubes if your barn is equipped with those. Uh, turning the fans off, and cleaning the fans would be a really good step to make sure those fans are performing efficiently, making sure there's no damage. If there is, that replacement needs to occur. Also take a look at the seal around where the tube and the fan meet. That needs to be tight. If it's leaking, that's gonna decrease the efficiency of the positive pressure tube and may reduce its performance. One thing also to consider is when you're cleaning out a barn, when you're removing manure from the barn, it would be a good idea to probably open the curtains up quite a bit just to allow any of those gases that are released when you're moving that manure to leave the barn rapidly. So those gases or potential bacteria are not staying in around the barn uh, contributing to lower quality air for those calves. When we think about air, there's a few principles that are kind of key. Warm air rises and cold air falls. And so if we have our curtains open even a little bit, you can imagine the cold air from the outside is gonna come in and fall right along the curtain. And if the calf is laying there, then that calf could be potentially exposed to a draft. So ideally, this time of year, we want the calves' pins to be kind of moved in from the outside of the wall so that the air, when it does come in from the curtains and have a chance to kind of mix, warm up before the calf is exposed to that air. One thing to also think about is uh, solar barns or barns that are uh, pitched so that we have a large opening and then a smaller opening. The, one of the principles behind those barns is their design acts a little bit like a vacuum. The airspeed is slower in the large opening part of the barn and as the air moves through to the narrow part of the barn, the air typically speeds up. When the curtain is down, surprisingly it tends to slow air speeds down. When the curtain is really tight or just has a narrow gap, the air speeds right at that curtain will actually be quite fast. So it's something that's kind of surprising sometimes, catches people who are a little bit off guard. So it's really important to maybe use a hot wire anemometer uh, to be able to measure wind speed at the calf level to make sure that the curtain is positioned properly. 
Let's talk about a couple scenarios which may happen for you uh, here in March. The first one let's talk about is if you get a change of wind speed. I think one of the TET take home messages is to watch the weather and evaluate what potential changes you may be encountering as we go through the seasonal changes. But if we have a scenario where the wind speed increases and the curtains are down or partially down, we're going to expect quite a bit uh, more air exchange rate, potential draft for those calves in the barn, and that may cause some stress for those calves. Uh, just like you and I, when we get cold, we feel a little bit of a stress. Um, if that accumulates over several hours or days, that can be quite stressful to the calf releasing some cortisol and maybe predisposing that calf to some potential pathogens just by sheer environmental stress. Another example that you might experience here during March is temperature fluctuation. Cool nights, warm days, followed again by cool nights. So you get this kind of bell-shaped curve uh, from a temperature standpoint. That relative um, change can be kind of hard for the calves to kind of cope with, especially if they have a heavy winter uh, hair coat plus a calf jacket, the barn really warms up. Those calves may actually experience a little heat stress, and so curtain management can really help kind of mitigate that. But again, as we get into the cooler part of the evening, curtains definitely need to come back up. Look at the weather forecast, kind of understand how air flows within the barn. We can manage those curtains to provide our calves with a great growing environment. Uh, with that, thank you so much for your time. This has been another edition of Calf Chat. Have a great day.